My name is Lisa Nersesova. Uh, my name is Aksa Shakil. I'm Brian Jones. I'm Teresa Gomez. I'm Derek Pienz. <laughs> raged for three and a half days. What is legitimate art? Can art remain vital and relevant in a fast-paced attention deficit, highly technological age? What problems are artists solving in societies continuously ravaged by man's inhumanity to man, that wretched trade in evil, vengeance heaped upon vengeance? For three and a half days they debated whether our modern young artists are equipped with a moral and mental capacity to persuade us, to make us think and feel, to empower us, to inspire us. What is it about art, they argued, that someone could secretly dole out millions and millions to acquire it and then display it in hushed quarters? Yes, what is art? Is it a signature of the elite? Is it a badge of aristocracy? Or could it be that art is that one pure language left? No hyperbole, no hypocrisy, that one tongue that can speak heart to heart, soul to soul, across all boundaries. I got my undergraduate at uh, Nascad University in Halifax, Nova Scotia. I am from Russia and got my undergrad at UNT in Denton. Uh, I'm from Pakistan. I've only been here five years. Uh, I did my undergrad from the uh, University of Texas at Dallas and two years at SMU. I'm getting my master's. We all are. Yay! Two years. Two years. It's just two years. Did I say three? Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm leaving, I'm leaving town next week. I'm moving next week. All right. Exactly. And I'm uh, going back to Virginia before I move to Portland, Oregon. Oh, yeah. I'm from Barcelona. I've been I've been making for uh, for almost uh, almost 20 years. And while I got my master last week. Communication is tough under any circumstance. So why would anyone endeavor to become an artist? Let's hear Andres. But the truth is, at the root, at the very core of whoever you are, wherever you are, there's one thing in common. Everybody wants to feel loved, and everybody wants to feel good at something. And I don't think that there's going to be anyone who's, who's going to go against me there. Um, and that was where I found that, in art. So I just kept going. <laughs> We have embarked upon a little experiment. We are picking people at random, showing them these five symbols. 
and we are asking them one simple question. Which of these symbols represent exactly the way you felt the last time you looked at a piece of art? I think it's going to be a question mark. I think. <laughs> why? Do you need to say why? Say why. Yeah. Oh, because that's the kind of reaction I've been getting. I've been seeing from people around, like when they view art, contemporary art, especially, you know, whether it be something in a museum or a mural or whatever, it's mostly like, huh? Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> So. And I think that is the right answer. It, it, it's, but I, I think that after the question mark, an exclamation mark should follow, <laughs> and eventually, you know, a smile. <laughs> and and then you and then you want the person to sign. relate to it. Yes, equal sign, and eventually heart. You know, love. You love it. I don't know. That's how it should be. But it's yeah. a question mark question that you mark, begin yeah. with. I I think. I agree with the question mark question for sure. Mark. I don't know, I'm maybe a little more cynical. I think a smiley face, because most of the art that people see is like the, uh, the target art, <laughs> the pre, the pre, the pre-packaged stuff. <laughs> and it's automatic, I mean, it's a pretty picture. But I think a question mark would, I think those are tied. I'm going to take with you, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>